Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the essential rough and edge effect I created for DaVinci Resolve. Using this effect, we can easily create some really cool animated effects directly in the edit page, like these ones we're seeing now. We can use it not only to create roughened and glowing edges on images, but also to generate titles with special effects. As usual, you can download this effect template through the link in the description below. Once it's installed or copied to the effect template folder, it will be available in the effects panel. Here is a text title in the timeline, we will use it to walk through the effect settings. Drag and apply the rough and edge effect to the title clip. Go to the effects tab in the inspector. There are not too many options in the controls page. This effect uses the fusion fast noise to displace the edge. Our main settings are the noise control options from the fast noise node. The edge size controls how much the distortion is applied to the edge. Edge softness softens the edge. The noise center is used to pan or move the noise pattern. If needed we can keyframe this parameter to create some animation effects. If we turn on the fusion overlay in the viewer, we can drag the control around to see the patterns changing. Larger values of detail produce more detail in the noise result, and the change will not affect the overall pattern. Setting it to zero basically disables the effect. The contrast control adjusts the overall contrast of the noise map. It can change the noise result dramatically. Most of the time, we use this together with the scale options to control the final result. The lock X, Y and scale parameters work together to control the size of the noise map. When the lock is enabled, the changes are made to both X and Y axes. When we turn off the lock option, we can set X and Y scales independently and get an edge effect distorted more in one direction than the other. The angle parameter is used to rotate the noise pattern. Change the seeth parameter to shift the noise map, which causes the noise drifting. Normally we keyframe this parameter to create animated effects. Or we can increase the seeth rate parameter to enable the animation automatically, without the need of keyframing. The larger value we set for the rate, the faster it runs. OK, these are the main parameters used to control the edge styles. The next section is the border control. By default, the border is disabled. If we enable the border option, there will be a new group of options we can use to control border color and styles. The border only option is used to disable the original image. Border width controls the width of the border. The default border color is red, we can change to any color depending on the need. Turn on the border glow option to enable the soft glow effects for the border. Play with these options to get a glowing effect of your liking. For example, I can set gain to 5, increase the red scale to 2. This makes the glowing effect look like a fire. To change the look of the fire, we can enable the lock XY option. Change the scale to around 30. Increase the glow size to 20. I think this looks cool. All right, we have gone through all the parameters of this effect. Next, I will show you how to create this sweeping glowing effect in the edit page using the rough and edge effect. This is a short clip showcasing the wheel rim, duplicating a copy and putting it on the top. In the effects panel, go to the open FX's filters page. Enable the search field and type edge to search for the edge detect effect. Apply the effect to the clip on the top. Go to the Effects tab in the Inspector. Decrease the edge width to 0. Increase Gamma to 2. 
Okay, now we have all the edges detected in this clip. But when we apply the roughen edge effect to the clip, it doesn't work. This is because the black areas are not transparent, the image is opaque as a whole. That's why we cannot see the original image from the clip below. In this case, the roughen edge effect doesn't really have much impact on the image. Let's delete the edge effect from the clip. In order to make this work, we need an image with only the highlighted edge lines, while the other parts are set to transparent. To do that in the edit page, we can use this clip as a mat to mask another background clip. You can check the video up here for more information about directly using mat in the edit page. Switch to the video page in the inspector. Change the composite mode to Luma, which uses the brightness level as mask values. Add a background clip to the track above. Change the duration to align with the wheel clip below. Set the color to light blue. Go to the settings tab and change the composite mode to foreground. Right away, the original clip is now visible because the background is masked by the brightness of the mat. The dark areas now become transparent so that we can see through. And we also see the edges are now in light blue. For this demo, we only need the edges on the rim. So we apply an essential mask effect. Let's disable the original clip for a moment. Go to the effects tab, change the mask type to ellipse. Move playhead to the beginning of the clip. Make sure to turn on the fusion overlay in the viewer. Change mask size and position to cover only the wheel. In the inspector, enable keyframes for the center, width and height parameters. Move the playhead to the end of the clip. Change the size and location to match the wheel. This will add keyframes automatically for these parameters at the current position. Move the playhead to the middle of the clip and verify if it matches the wheel. The mask is too big. So we change the size and position. Another set of keyframes are added. Continue to repeat the steps to adjust the mask until it follows the wheel movements from the beginning to the end. Now it's good, only the edges on the rim are visible across the entire clip. Before we can apply the roughen edge effect, we need to convert these two clips to a compound clip. Select both clips and right click. Choose new compound clip. Enter a name. Create. Now we have a compound clip. Apply the effect. Great, it works as expected. Go to the Effects tab in the Inspector. Increase the Seath rate to enable the animation. Enable the border. Change the border color to blue. Reduce the border width. Something like this. Check the Border Glow option. Increase the gain value to 5. Lower a bit of the glow size. To make the glowing effect more bluish, we can scale down the green channel and scale up the blue channel to 2. Now let's enable the original clip. Play the timeline. This looks cool. Maybe we can increase a little bit of the seath rate to speed up the animation. Okay, I like this. To have the sweeping effect, we simply apply the edge wipe transition at the beginning. Extend transition to 3 seconds, or any duration you like. 
The wiping edge is too sharp. So we check the feather option and increase the border. Something around 100 seems good to me. We can also change the ease mode to smooth transition. For example, set it to out. To sweep off the effect, Alt drag the transition to duplicate the transition at the end of the clip. For the ending transition, I prefer to set the ease mode to option in, so it starts wiping off slowly. Alright, that's all for today. In addition to the rough and edge effect, I also used a few other essential templates in the video, you can download them through the links in the description below. Please leave comments below if you have questions or suggestions. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.